An update here on HR 8 and HR 1446, the Democrats' gun control background check bills that are trying to be forced down our throats. And all that and a little bit more here in this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. It's Monday, a little late, but it's still the Monday morning grind brought to us by our friends over at Blackout Coffee. Check them out, blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. And with St. Patrick's Day coming up, I thought I'd throw a little idea at you. We have Irish cream coffee, and if you're into the uh, adult beverage drinks, you add a little Baileys to that, and you have the perfect St. Patrick's Day uh, compliment, and you can start enjoying. Actually, you can pregame because you'll get it before that. But uh, check us out over at Blackout Coffee. We have coffee, teas, hot chocolate, hoodies, t shirts, hats, all kinds of cool stuff to show your support. And uh, again, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for supporting Blackout Coffee. All right, so let's get into what's going on. I'm going to put on the screen here this is the floor schedule update for today in the U.S. House of Representatives. And you can see that today the House meets at 2 p.m. for legislative business. Uh, and uh, by the, that's about 10 minutes from now when I'm recording this. You can see the uh, second to last paragraph there. It says, after suspension debate, the House will begin one hour of debate on the rule providing for consideration of H.R. 842, Protecting the Right to Organize Act, H.R. 8, the Bipartisan Background Checks Act, and H.R. 1446, the Enhanced Background Checks Act. Following the debate on the rule, the House will take votes by groups and these are the last votes of the day. And you can see the last line, they predict the last votes to be at about uh, 6.30 p.m. So that's the update. Today they will be taking up H.R. 8 and H.R. 1446. I will keep my eyes and ears peeled for that, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a good, uh, good feeling, some good news that I have been uh, working on over the last couple days. First off, uh, hello to everybody that I met over in Lawrence over the weekend. Hope you guys are doing great. So let's get into this good news. Senator Joe Manchin, the Democrat from West Virginia, the one we've been telling, uh, I've been telling you about, and so have others, uh, but he's the one who has said he will not vote to remove the filibuster. And he has been coming under some intense pressure from his own party. That's right, members of his own party in the Senate, including the leadership, are putting pressure on Senator Manchin, as are the, uh, the typical gun control groups out there. In fact, uh, the Democrat leadership and these gun control groups are throwing pressure behind on Joe Biden, uh, trying to get him to put his weight behind the movement to uh, nuke the filibuster. Now, this past Wednesday, uh, a reporter had asked Senator Manchin if he would reconsider his stance on not nuking the filibuster due to the setback in the Democrat agenda, meaning they can't pass anything, especially on gun control, if he doesn't change his mind. And his quote was great. His quote was, never. And he followed that with, Jesus Christ, what don't you understand about never? So that's been reassuring because uh, Senator Joe Manchin has been under an, an intense amount of pressure from people within his party and these anti-gunners to get him to flip. And it appears as though he's not. And I don't think that that's enough for us to rest on our laurels. I still would recommend that uh, gun owners, anybody watching this, should still call Senator Manchin's office and ask him to stand by that. Also, we should still be calling our representatives because the bills are still in the House, we should be calling our representatives and urging them to not back H.R. 8 or H.R. 1446. If you don't know those numbers, I'll have the switchboard as well as the link to figure out who your representatives are down below in the description right underneath that blackout coffee link. Hint, hint. Uh, but it appears as though Senator Manchin's gonna stand his ground, but everybody is pressuring Manchin right now. Also in the last couple days, we've had some senators come out and vocally support getting rid of the filibuster. They are definitely feeling the heat right now because as of right now, they do not have 60 senators to support these gun control efforts. That's good news for us, but we can't rest on that. All right, because that can change at a moment's notice, okay? So we need to keep up the pressure. We need to start keep spreading the news. Make sure all the gun owners in your life are aware of this stuff. Because I literally have talked to some in the last couple of days that didn't know what was going on, didn't know what HR8 was, didn't know what HR 1446 did. Uh, so we need to make sure we're telling everybody about it, guys and gals. I'll have those links down below to call your representative and let them know 
that you should not be supporting these two bills. And I'll also have uh, contact information for Senator Joe Manchin down below because the pressure on him is really ramping up. In fact, the last 48 hours, uh, the two senators from Minnesota, uh, Tina Smith and Amy Klobuchar, they both come out saying, let's get rid of this filibuster because it's an enemy of progress. So that tells you everything you need to know. Um, and as of right now, we're doing okay, but I don't want, we should never have to, we should never have to lean on one person to make sure the constitution isn't violated. Uh, it is, in, it's absolutely enraging to me to see a group of people so motivated to violate the one document that this country was founded on and the document that they're sworn to uphold and protect. And I would hope that those people in their states, seeing their, their U.S. reps doing this, seeing their U.S. senators say these things about getting rid of filibusters so we can destroy guns in, in the Second Amendment, I hope you're taking notes and I hope you absolutely vote these bums out of office. Because if we don't, then we get more of the same, all right? And then we, we will absolutely get the representation that we deserve. And we don't want that to happen. So please be vocal, guys and gals. It literally takes a minute out of your time to do some of this stuff. And we absolutely need everybody to pitch in. So let's get that done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Things are looking okay. We have the Democrats worried about passing this stuff. And uh, that's going to be good because we have, don't forget, Senator Feinstein said that she is going to be submitting her assault weapon ban bill. And we have the two bills that were uh, put in over the last week about uh, you know making parts treat them as firearms and and home builds and they're going after everything so let's work together to make sure that uh they don't infringe all right i'm rambling it's been a long day already uh, but until we see each other again be safe stay vigilant carry a weapon i'm going to stay uh, tuned to what happens in the house if there's an update i will bring it to you today if you want to stay in the know hit subscribe this is where you'll find all the information on the second amendment good bad ugly or indifferent and until then i'll see you on the next one take care everybody